We've already discussed cross-contamination, but cross-contamination occurs when bacteria are transferred from one food to another. For example, when raw food is allowed to touch or drip fluids onto cooked or ready to eat food. Raw contaminated ingredients are used or added to food that receives no further cooking. And food contact surfaces, such as cutting boards, are not properly cleaned and sanitized between touching cooked or ready to eat food and raw food. You can prevent cross-contamination by doing a few simple things. Store ready to eat food and raw food in different refrigerators or freezers. In the fridge, store ready to eat food in covered containers. In the fridge, store ready to eat food above raw food. And in the fridge, store ready to eat food in a separate part of the refrigerator from raw food if you haven't got a separate fridge. Use separate utensils, for example, knives and serving spoons when serving and preparing different types of food. Cover food so that dirt and pests don't get into it. Use colour coded cutting boards. Clean and sanitise food contact surfaces before touching cooked or ready to eat food. And label all food with a date it was prepared and a use by date. Separate cutting boards should be reserved for the preparation of cooked or raw foods and should be labelled or colour coded accordingly. You should use white for dairy products, red for raw meat, blue for seafood, yellow for poultry, brown for cooked meat, and green for fruit and vegetables. After use, all cutting boards should be scraped with a flat metal scraper and washed. At the end of each day, cutting boards should be washed or soaked in sanitizer.